All right, guys, we're back with part two of the rifle build, and uh, I can't say how excited I am to show this to you guys. It turned out great. I'm super pumped. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time here. Let's check this thing out and uh, just see how it turned out. Boom. There she is. This thing turned out so good. I, I just, I don't know, I can't say enough about it. From the Magpul stock to the Swamp Fox optic, the BCM gunfighter grip, all the Strike Industries accessories and that nickel boron bolt. Uh, before we go any further, it is empty, no mag inserted. We are good. This thing is, it's just awesome. Um, this Swamp Fox optic has the quick throw, uh, quick throw lever, parallax adjustments, six by 24 by 50, as I told you guys before, this thing just tied together so nicely with this, uh, with this rifle build. Arrow precision lower, we got the Grendel Hunter upper and 20 inch titanium Cerakoted barrel with their 17 inch uh, FDE rail here. And this tab gear precision sling came out awesome. Uh, even though it is Coyote, not FDE, I think it matches great. It's quick adjust, does everything you need it to do. I can't, I don't know, I'm just super pumped to, uh, to showcase this thing and I'm going to be even more excited to finally get to shoot it. Um, ambidextrous charging handle, um, although I really don't see a need for needing that on, you know, something that's dedicated more for, uh, you know, long range, but hey, it's always nice to have and I can adjust my cheek weld here via these dials and I can also extend this buttstock out just by, you know, a quick turn of the knob. So uh, this thing I don't know. I'm super stoked, guys. I, I don't. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I'm like a kid when it comes to this stuff. And this thing is awesome. So, like I said, the uh, Magpul stock came with the uh, QD mount built in, and I just had to put the adapter here on the. Uh, I just had to put the adapter there on the rail, so that way I could lock in that front QD mount. But all is well. All is good. Thing turned out great uh, let me know what you think down in the comments again this is a six millimeter arc 20 inch barrel one and a seven and a half inch twist this is a six by 24 by 50 swamp fox patriot optic first focal plane and uh i don't know i think we're gonna have some uh, some success with this as long as i can continue to find uh ammunition so remember i uh when i went over the build list i had two different magazines I had the Amen 2 magazine and the, what are these? The Duramag SS uh, magazines. So the 6 Arc uses 6.5 Grendel um, magazines. So rifles out of the way, we're good. Um, so here's the 6 millimeter Arc. And if you don't know what Arc stands for, it's Advanced Rifle Cartridge. So right off the bat you notice these are both 10 round mags. The Amen 2 is significantly taller and it's because it's single stack all the way up until it gets to the bottom where it widens out then it starts to double stack, which is kind of a weird thing to me. Like if you could fit 10 in this small of a package, why would you want it to be larger? Now, I guess maybe if you're running and gunning with something like this, you, it's easier to you know rip a mag out if it gets stuck or whatever, but for something that's more precision based, which even most people who buy 6.5 Grendel, they buy it more for you know long range shooting. I think something like this is gonna be a lot better because it doesn't take up as much space, especially depending on certain terrains, stuff hanging down from your rifle may be more of a hindrance than it is a, a benefit. So, um, one thing I noticed when I was loading these mags is these Dura mags. This is a uh, these are stainless steel mags, but just like 556, your typical 556 mags, you just you pop them in and they're good. With the Amen 2 mag, you can't do that. You just you, tr you try to pop it down right there. You can't. There's this little stupid lip here, and you have to push down and then under it. So you can't just you know I can pop mags in to the, you know, wrap rounds into the Duramag. I can't do that with this because there's a dumb lip in there that you have to push down and under. And when you only have a few rounds in there, it's not that bad. But once you start getting down to the like eighth, 
through 10th round, it starts pushing to the side where it's it potentially may catch on that lip when the next round comes out. So I'm not really feeling these Men 2 mags. So if you guys have any good experience with them, let me know down in the comments. Maybe there won't be an issue, but it just just loading them without even shooting yet, I'm not really confident that these mags won't have a failure to, uh, to feed. Whereas the Duramags, yeah, they're, you know, steel mags, but I don't ever have a, you know, nobody's ever had a problem with steel mags. They're not as, you know, lightweight or sexy, I guess, as like, you know, the polymer mags, but they work. And this uh, minimalized footprint seems a lot better. So let me go ahead and put this ammo out of reach. And then uh, I'm gonna bring the rifle back over here. All right, mags are still clear. Rifle still clear, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the mag well. All right, so the Amen 2 mag. So it loads in there, looks well enough. Um, doesn't really hang past the grip, so you know, you should be fine with any kind of, you know, clearance issues you may have. But same, uh, the Duramag, same round count, 10 rounds, fits up there way better. And I think that just kind of gives it more of a classic, uh, a classic, you know, bolt gun kind of look, even though it's in an AR package. Um, I think that looks a lot better and it, it cleans it up a bit. I mean, this looks pretty cool. It kind of looks just more like your, any kind of 300 blackout or 556 would look. It's, you know, it looks like an AR. And my thing is, is I'm not getting any added benefit from this size. You know, I'm still only, ha I still only have 10 round capability with this mag that's, you know, twice the size. So other than being able to, you know, get a good purchase on it to rip it out in case anything were to happen, I mean, I, I still have the ability to get every finger on this to, to be able to rip it out. So I don't know, that's just something that you're gonna have to decide what's best for you and uh, what you like better. But I think uh, the Duramag is the way for me right now. And, you know, I'll probably try to pick up some more uh, different types of uh, polymer mags. Uh, the Amen 2 for me, I'll give them a shot when I go to shoot it. But um, I don't know, I think this, this one seems a little subpar. Um, but that's just me, so make your own decisions. But guys, here it is. I gotta come up with a, a name for this rifle. Um, so if you have any ideas, go ahead and put them down in the comments. And let me know what you think about the six arc build. Um, I'm really looking forward to this round taking off and more uh, manufacturers being able to produce six millimeter arc. Right now it's just Hornady, and I don't know if that's because they have some sort of patenting or, you know, copyright <laughs> claim to it. I don't know if you call it copyright with rounds, but whatever. Um, I don't know if they have some sort of claim to it where no one else can manufacture it. So if that is the case, Hornady, get on it. Ship some more of this stuff out. Fill these stores up. Let's go. Because there's a demand for it. It's just we're not finding it as much as we would like to. Um, I got to drive about 40, 45 minutes to be able to get the ammo. So that's not really a, a benefit, but it is worth it, I think, once I get to shooting this thing and seeing how amazingly flawless it's going to run. Because I know it. I just know it off the top of my head. This thing is going to run beautifully and it's going to be super accurate. And I cannot wait. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching. Part three might be, you know, a couple weeks, but it, it'll be worth it. I gotta, you know, get the, uh, get a couple accessories. I gotta lock on the range, do all kinds of stuff, find somewhere that I can shoot it with distance and uh, be able to stretch this thing's legs out a little bit. So uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Again, the build list for this is on my coffee page, which will be linked down in the description. All that is is just my little third party site where I can put links for things because YouTube doesn't allow that and you're and to be monetized. So, you know, rules is rules. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right, appreciate you. Until next time.